Good evening to you. It's been nearly a week since 42-year-old Michael Prater was hit and killed while riding his bicycle along US 52 in Anderson Township. Today, hundreds turned out in his honor for a ghost ride. Local 12's Brad Underwood was there for the ride and joins us live now from Anderson Township. Hi, Brad. Well, hi, Sydney. Uh, here at Kellogg Park, this was the halfway point for this afternoon's ride, uh, about five miles from Lunkett Airport where it started and just down the road on 52 from where we are tonight about four miles is the location where Prater was hit and killed last Sunday and that is where his ghost bike rests this evening. Now earlier this afternoon more than 600 riders showed up at Lunkin Airport uh, before the private ceremony they gathered they suited up put on their helmets and hit the road uh, they did leave in groups of about 25 uh, because the group was so large. Now, this range of riders, a very wide range. You had cycling groups as well as uh, casual riders and some cycling teams. And once they did arrive here at Kellogg Park, there was a small ceremony before the majority of those riders turned back around to Lunkin Airport. And, and many of them did not know Prater, but that didn't matter. He was a member of the cycling community. If it were any other person in this area right now, I'd be out here doing the same thing for them. Every one of us would be. Let's not be afraid to get out and ride our bikes. It's a safe and happy thing to do. That seemed to be an overall uh, arching theme here today with many of the cyclists that we spoke with. Uh, to not be afraid, you, you know the rules of the road and to continue to get out and ride. And one of the groups that we saw today Nearly every employee from the REI store in Norwood was here riding in an REI group in Columbus, the REI store. They sent down employees to run the store here in Norwood and in Cincinnati so that all of those employees could be a part of this ride today. Reporting live tonight in Anderson Township, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. Sydney. That is so neat to hear. Thanks, Brad. Investigators say Prater was doing everything right while riding along US 52. Melinda Woodall of Amelia was driving the SUV that hit him at the moment. She's charged with vehicular homicide. Police say she was high on prescription narcotics at the time.